Happy good day. We will now discuss area of composite figures. But before that, let's have some review. We know that in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So if this is equal to this, and then this side and this side are also equal. This tick means that these two are equal in measurement and also these other two, the two ticks are equal in measurement. So we have here the length and the breadth. Okay? To find the area of a rectangle, we just multiply the length. Let's have this time square. In a square, all sides are equal. So meaning all of them have the same number of tick, which means they are all equal. And the area of square can be solved by multiplying side times side. Because this is in the rectangle, this is the length and the breadth, but they are equal, so we just let them be side, 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 side. Okay, so that is how to get the area of a square. And for a triangle, we know that to find the area of a triangle, we multiply the base to its height and divide it by 2. Okay. So remember from our previous lesson how to find the base and the height. If this is our base, therefore this will be our If this is our base in a right angle triangle, then this is For an obtuse triangle, if this is our base, then remember that we need to extend so that the height will be here outside. Okay? So that is how to find the area of a triangle. Let's now proceed to this example. <laughs> Let's have method number one. To find the area of the shaded triangles or shaded figures, we have here triangle 1 and triangle 2. So we can get the, uh, the area of the two triangles and then add them both. Okay, so let's find first area of the first triangle or triangle number 1. Okay, to find the area of a triangle, we need to identify the base and the height. So if this will be our base, the 12 will be the base. Then what will be our height? Obviously, this will be the height because that is perpendicular to the base. But there is no measurement for this side of the triangle. But remember, this is one whole rectangle. Rectangle is like what we mentioned a while ago that opposite sides are equal. So, therefore, if this side is 8, you can say also that this side is also 8 centimeters. So, you can say now that the height is 8 centimeters. Now, is solving the area of the triangle. You find now area of triangle number 1 is base which is 12 times 8 then divide by 2 so we multiply 12 and 8 and then we divide it by 2 so 12 times 8 is equal to 96 then 96 divided by 2 
is equal to 48. Okay, please don't forget to write the unit. So this 48 centimeters squared. Okay, so we're done with triangle number one. Let's now find the area of triangle number 2. So, area of triangle number 2. So, same thing. This is also a right angle triangle. So, we can say that this is our base and this is our height. In the given, automatic, it's 8 for the height but the base it's not yet given but again we know that opposite sides of the rectangle are congruent so if this is 12 then the opposite side is 12 but only 8 is given so what will be the measurement of this side so that it will be equal to 12 so that is just 12 minus 4 12 minus 8 so that is equal to 4 so if this is 4 centimeters the total now measurement of this side is 12 like this one so this is 4 centimeters so we now get the area of the second triangle which is the same as multiplying the base the height then dividing it by 2 so 4 times 8 then divide by 2 4 times 8 is 32 then we divide it by 2 you get 16 centimeters squared because this is unit for the area okay to find now the area of the student region we just now add the area of triangle 1 plus the area of triangle 2 okay and then based from our solution a while ago area of the first triangle is 48 centimeters squared and the area of triangle number two is 16 centimeters squared so by adding them we'll get 64 centimeters squared so this is now the area of the shaded region That is the first method. The second method that you can do is you just need to subtract the area of the triangle, of the unshaded triangle, from the area of the rectangle. So you notice that this is a rectangle here. Okay. And then you have here the unshaded Okay, so let's try first to find the area of the rectangle. The area for rectangle is length times breadth. Okay, so the length is 12 and the breadth is 8. Multiplying the two, we get 96 centimeters squared. So this is now the area of the rectangle. Let's now get the area of the unshaded region, which is a rect uh, triangle. So area of the unshaded region, which is a triangle, is just base 
times height divided by 2. Here, the base of that triangle is equal to 8. The height, remember the height, because this is an obtuse triangle, the height is outside. So this will be the height of the triangle, which is also 8. Okay, so by solving, we have 8 times 8 divided by 2. So that is 64 divided by 2. We get 32 centimeter squared. So what do we do now with the area of the rectangle and the area of the unshaded figure in this problem? To identify now the area of the shaded region or figures, we just subtract the area of the rectangle. To subtract by the area of the triangle. So the area of the rectangle, we saw it as 96 centimeter squared minus the area of the triangle, which is 32 centimeter squared. And the difference is 64 centimeter squared. Therefore, this is also, this is now the area of the shaded region so you may use any of the method okay again method one we find the area of the two shaded region and then added it after we add it okay that will be now our answer so that's method one add the area of the shaded regions. Method 2, okay, for method 2, we, we, we subtract the area of the rectangle and area of the unshaded figure which is a triangle okay so these are the two methods that you can use in finding the area of the shaded figure let's now proceed to example number two The figure is composed of a square inside a triangle. Let us find the area of the shaded region. So this one, we know already what to do. So let's plan on how we're going to look at the area. Since we're dealing with composite figures, it might help if we break down the figures so in here, we see a triangle and a square. So let's find the area of the triangle and area of the square. For area of a triangle, it's base times the height divided by 2. So given the figure, we know that the base is 14 multiplied by the height which is 9 then divided by 2. Okay, so we multiply 14 times 9, we get 126 centimeters squared but we divided by 2 so this is just 63 centimeters squared 
Next, we get the area of the square. We said that the area of the square is just side times side. And the side is 3 times 3. So that's just 9 centimeters square. Now that we know that the area of the triangle is 63 centimeters squared and the area of the square is 9 centimeters squared, what do you think will be done for us to get the area of the shaded region? If your answer is we subtract, then you are correct. To get the area of the shaded figure, We subtract the area of the triangle and the area of the square. And that is 63 centimeters squared minus 9 centimeters squared with a total of 54 centimeters squared. And therefore, the area of the shaded figure is 54 centimeters squared. Let us now look at our third figure. In the figure EFCB, which is a rectangle, ABE and BFC are triangles. AB is 12, AE is 9, BC is 16, and AB is 20. Also, there are angles that are equal, like angle BAE and angle BFD. They are both 90 degrees. Let us now find the area of the figure. Okay. So, to find the area of this figure, we can divide this into different parts. As you notice, we have one, two, and three figures here. Let's try to solve each figure and then we add later on. So let's try to find the area of figure of the first figure. The of figure number one. So figure number one is a triangle. So to find the area of a triangle, it's base times height divided by two. So that is base, so let's identify what is the base in this triangle. We can say that it's 9 times the height is 12, then we divide it by 2. But if you choose that your base is not AB or 9 here, you can also say that AB is your height. Are your base. So you can say you have 12 times. So if AB is your base, you will also have AE as your height this time. And then we divide it by 2. You will see that this 2 doesn't have any difference at all when we simplify. So you may use any of the 2. So this is 9 times 12, that is 108, then divided by 2, so we get 54. Don't forget the unit, we are on centimeter squared. So if we wish to use this, we still get the same thing, it's still 108 divided by 2. So, same as the first one. 
okay so you may use any of these two okay now that we know that the area of the first triangle or the bigger triangle is equal to 54 centimeters Let's now try to find the area of the second figure, which is a rectangle. So, area of figure number 2. And figure number 2 is a rectangle. To get the area of the rectangle, it's just length times the breadth. So, that is length is 16 okay and the breadth is not given so how do we calculate for the breadth of the rectangle we know that the given value for a b is equal to 20 or rather EB is equal to 20. Okay, you can find that from the given statement. In the given, it we said a while ago that EB is 20 centimeter. If that is 20 centimeter, then we can say that this part of this triangle is just 20 minus 16 so this side is just 20 minus 16 or 4 centimeters and because of this symbol which means these two have the equal value so if this is 4 centimeters this is also 4 centimeters Again, this value is from the given. We got this value from the given. Okay, so the breadth now is equal to 4. So we now multiply 16 by 4. And the answer is 64 centimeters square. Or square centimeters. So we already found the area of the first figure, the second figure. Let's now proceed to the last figure. The last figure, so let's find area of figure number 3. And figure number 3 is again a triangle. So it's base times height divided by 2 so in this triangle now okay you can see that the base is this and this is our height based on how we solved a while ago we know that this side is equal to that is equal to 4 and same thing with this side of the triangle which is also the height that is just 4 times 4 then divided by 2 okay how did we get 4 again here remember that e b is equal to 20 and this is just 16 so we subtract 20 and 16 to get 4 and how come that this side is also 4 because of this symbol, we know that these two triangles are equal. And these two sides, by the way, is they are equal. So if this is 4, then this side is also equal to 4. So that is just 16 divided by 2. So it's 8 centimeters. Okay, so we finally got the area of all the figures. Okay, figure number one, two, 
two and three. Let's just recall that the area of our first figure here of figure number one is fifty four cm squared. The area of figure number two is sixty four centimeter squared and the area of figure number three is eight centimeter squared so to get the area of the shaded figure we just add all values so we have 54 plus 64 plus 8 and that is equal to 126 centimeter square and for our final example here let's first study the figure in this figure, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B is 12. B, C is equal to 4. Just put it here so that we remember it's equal to 4. E, F is 14. And CD and DE CD and DE are equal. So if DE is 8, therefore CD is also equal to 8. So let us find now the area of the shaded figure. Notice that this is an unusual shape, but we can cut this into different shapes. Like here, we can have this as one a triangle. The next figure, figure number two, can be a rectangle, and this one can be our third figure which is a square so have you planned now what to do yes you're correct you just need to get the area of each figure and then add all of them let's start with area of figure one Figure 1 is a triangle, so let's try to find the area of that triangle. Okay. So we need to find the base, multiply it to the height, and then we divide it by 2. Okay, but looking at the triangle, it seems that not all values are given. Or not all uh, dimension of this triangle is given because 12 here is not for the side of this triangle alone but it's the side of the whole thing here from A to B okay. so if we will let this as base this will be our base this part will be our base therefore this will be our height The height here is not given directly, but if we look at this, this is the same as this one here. So from this point to this point, this is the same as from this point to this point. So if that is 4 and 8, which is equal to 12, then we can say that the height also is the same, so it's also equal to 12. 
how about the base? The base can be solved by getting first the value of this side. And how do we get this? We can just subtract 8 from 14. So we know that this is 8 and this is also 8 because it's a square. So to get 14, how, what will be the value here? So when we add it to 8, it's 14. So this value will be equal to 6. So that the whole thing is still equal to 14. So we know that this is 6. Then, because it's a rectangle, the opposite side also is equal to 6. This is also equal to 6. But the whole thing from A to B is 12. Therefore, we can now say that this base here is also equal to 6. So that the sum of this side of the triangle and this side of the rectangle is equal to 12. So we put here base equal to 6. Then we divide it by 2. So we multiply 6 by 12. Uh, we multiply 6 by 12 and that is 72. Then divide it by 2. So we get 36 centimeter squared. So that is the area of the triangle. 36 centimeter squared. Okay, so let me erase first everything so it will be clear for us. Now, we go to our second figure which is the rectangle. Okay, so area of figure number 2. So that is area of a rectangle. And that is just length times the breadth. So we know that the breadth here is the same as the length of the height of the, the triangle a while ago. So if this is also equal to 12. But how about the length? We solved it a while ago. We said that this can be found by, we said this is 8, right? Because these two are equal. 8. So technically, this side is also 8. And if that is 8, and the whole thing from F to E is 14, we just subtract 8 from 14 to get 6. Therefore, this side is equal to 6. So we just multiply 12 and 6 to get the area of the rectangle. So 6 times 12 is equal to 72 centimeters squared. And the last figure which is a square, figure number 3. So let's find out the area of figure number 3 and that is finding the area of a square because this side is 8 and we know that this is a square then we can say that all sides are also 8 so it's just side times side and that's 8 times 8 and 8 times 8 is just 64 centimeters squared. There. So we're done with all the figures. So let's try to recall the area of each figure. So the area of figure number one is 
we said that this is 36 centimeters square. Area, let's plug it here, figure number one, figure number two, and figure number three. Figure number two, which is a rectangle, is 72 centimeters square. And the area of figure number three is 64 centimeters square. So to find the area of this figure, so the total area of the shaded figure, It's just adding everything. So that's just 36 plus 72 plus 64. Therefore, when you add that, the total will be 172 centimeters squared. Okay. So again, you can cut the figure into different parts and get the area of each. Then, the last step is we just add all the areas to get the total area. I hope this made uh, you more understand how to get the area of a composite figure. Thank you everyone.